Well, hi, this is Pastor Dan Schultz from Zion Lutheran Church, welcoming you back for another Thursday devotion. Today happens to be December 31st of 2020, the last day of 2020, and I know many of us are not sad to see it go. Uh, I've got a special New Year's Eve devotion I'd like to share with you today, uh, and it's called Strong Into the Night. Uh, The verse that we're going to focus on is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 25. In September 1939, Great Britain allied with France and several other alarmed countries in declaring war on Hitler's Germany, which had invaded Poland in its intended march toward global domination. By the end of the year, anxieties throughout England remained on high alert. Everyone was fearful of bombings and invasion. When King George VI sat down before two large microphones to make his Christmas Day speech to the nation, He was dressed in his official uniform as Admiral of the Fleet. With so many parts of the world facing an uncertain future, his goal was to reassure the people that their nation was prepared and able, and their cause was just and right. The king said, A new year is at hand. We cannot tell what it will bring. If it brings peace, how thankful we shall be. If it brings us continued struggle, we shall remain undaunted. Then, turning to some lines of poetry his wife had recently shared with him, he concluded his speech with these words, which are a fitting close to this year that we've had together. These words offer a word of encouragement that we hope will settle our hearts amidst the troubles of our own time in history. These lines are from The Gate of the Year, a poem written in 1908 by Minnie Louise Haskins. I said to the man who stood at the gate of the year, Give me a light, that I may tread safely into the unknown. And he replied, Go into the darkness, and put your hand into the hand of God. That shall be to you better than light, and safer than a known way. The devotion asks us to ask the following question of ourselves. As you make the turn to a new year, what are you facing that needs you to sink your hand more deeply into God's hand? and then it prays. It ends with, pray for one another as you embark upon a new year that God will grant you and your family his favor. So in so many ways, 2021 is going to be the same as all the other years before, Uh, especially as Christians. We go forward into a new year with hope and expectation, knowing that the Lord will be with us no matter what's going on. This year seems just a little bit different though. The world is different. Uh, The challenges that we have are different. Uh, We know that 2021 is not gonna start off with an amazing turnaround. It's gonna take uh, weeks, months, uh, possibly the majority of the year before things get back to normal. But you and I, my friends, we know that as Christians, God has a plan. God is in control. God continues to be there right beside us through these challenges. And there's nothing that we can't handle uh, when we've got him by our side. We do need to have our hand in God's hand, and maybe most especially at the end of this year as we move into 2021. But not because it's going to be more scary than past years, not because it's going to be harder or more challenging than past years, because the unknown is always challenging. So my friends, we know what's coming in 2021. We know the vaccine is coming. Uh, We know that churches are going to get back to normal, uh, the normal things of life, uh, your clubs and your groups and the people that you're with, your family, uh, those kinds of things are going to get back to some sort of normal. We don't know the exact timeline, but we know my friends that uh, God knows a timeline, and he's got that plan for each and every one of us. And so today, uh, maybe most especially today, wherever you are listening and watching this from, uh, just take a moment to say thanks to God for bringing you through 2020, uh, even though it's been full of challenges, historic challenges, and also uh, to look forward to 2021, maybe holding his hand a little bit tighter uh, than previous New Year's, maybe counting on him a little bit more than previous New Year's. Maybe um, looking to him a little bit more to lead you uh, into a new year differently than you've done before. 
So I pray that 2021 is a blessed year for each and every one of us. Uh, I pray that uh, if you have need of anything, you'll reach out to your brothers and sisters in Christ, that you'll find the help through the challenges, that you will seek out assistance when you need it. Uh, and don't be afraid uh, to call the church and say, hey, is there something that uh, you guys can help me with? Is there something I can be of service uh, to you with? Um, and so um, just keep in touch. Uh, again, I'm always available for emails, dan.schultz at zionhopkins.org. Um, I always love to hear from you, love to talk with you. Uh, if you've got any questions, concerns, need a prayer, uh, going through a, a challenge, a difficulty, give me a call and uh, I'll be happy to happy to uh, work through it with you. I don't have all the answers, but we know who does and we lean on him. So again, Happy New Year. Hope you and your family are blessed and stay safe. And I look forward to seeing all of you real soon.